It's hard enough for any parent to witness their child undergoing surgery. Some of the hardest on younger patients is brain procedures. For Myron Hurst and his family, the doctors at McLean Children's truly are miracle workers. Myron Hurst may be sitting tall in the saddle now, but a while back things were different. I was sitting in town at my dad's shop. My left side had kind of started feeling numb and my speech on the left side, it kind of got, got a little bit droopy. Myron then did what any kid would do. He called mom. I got a phone call from Myron telling me that he didn't have any feeling on his left side and that it felt funny. He said his speech was slurred, told him to take an aspirin, and see if that would help and to give me a call back if it didn't help. For about two weeks, all seemed fine and Myron went on with his daily activities, but then mom gets another call. Hey mom, you know, when I didn't have feeling in my left arm, I'm having that same feeling again and I'm like, you know, this is strange. This time an aspirin didn't work and mom was so concerned, she took him to the doctor. And eventually he saw a neurologist who gave them news they weren't prepared to hear. An acute stroke in which he had problems with numbness and tingling in his arms. I went over the images with them, explained to them, showed them what was going on. And what was going on was serious. Moya Moya, which stands for a puff of smoke, which just means that um, the carotid ar arteries in my brain got clogged up, which wasn't allowing me to get the right amount of blood flow directly to my brain. And the next step, an eight-hour surgery that sounded complicated. Where they're going to do a direct bypass from one vein that sits by my ear directly to the uh, lay over the top of my brain to allow that blood to pump directly there. Without fear, Myron then put his life in the hands of the surgeons. I always knew that going into surgery, I was going to be blessed to come out in a healthy manner knowing that God was going to be by my side through the whole process. And throughout the process, Myron was surrounded by family and friends who prayed for him and his medical team. He was even comforted by a prayer blanket that reminded him that he was not alone on his journey. We just trusted God and with his faith, you know, it encouraged us to, you know, to just fight and hang on. Months later, Myron, with rope in hand, is once again sitting tall in the saddle, hoping to lasso a bright future. A future he has because of one special person and one special place where miracles are made. Dr. Kaiser is uh, amazing. She knew what she was talking about. The cure that they gave every uh, child is just, it, it's just unbelievable, phenomenal.